Many times, when dealing with change at work, you'll experience resistance from employees. As you know, it can be awkward to deal with. Your first reaction might be to ignore it, hoping it will go away. But it rarely does. Today, we want to help you work with resistance in a brain-friendly way to help people move toward change in a positive manner. Anything new can be perceived by the brain as a threat, whether it's real or not, and can drive a person into a state of avoidance or a negative emotional reaction. This reaction no. prevents an individual from feeling safe or being motivated toward change. Let's look at some examples of what resistance can look like and how you can help. Resistance can occur when an individual perceives a threat to their importance or seniority, basically their status. For example, someone who has always been the go-to expert could feel threatened when they perceive a new process or system eliminates the need for their knowledge. If you notice someone in this situation, you can use the mental contrasting exercise to help them work through it. Mental contrasting consists of three questions to help someone change the way they perceive a situation. It can help a person move forward with a new outlook of their importance. For example, you may hear them say, do I have to use this system? This may be a clue that this person is feeling threatened by lack of control or loss of autonomy. A manager can help reduce this type of threat by offering choices. 